All right, so what is being done to prevent untreated water from entering the Allegheny River? Well, we first told you about this problem in the city of Olean earlier this month. And now city officials are working on finding a solution to the problem. Two on your sides, Nate Benson is in the newsroom with the latest. Nate? Yes, yeah, Scott Mary Alice, the mayor of Olean, tells me they're working on hiring an engineering firm that can come up with a solution to the problem of sewage ending up in the Allegheny River. The Seneca Nation has been vocal about the city of Olean needing to stop untreated water from entering the Allegheny River. When there's a heavy rain event, then there's discharge. Odie Porter is an elected representative of the Allegheny Territory of the nation and spoke out Tuesday during an Olean Common Council meeting. It's disgusting wastewater into the river. Uh, it contaminates it. They're trespassing on our territory. And it's a matter of for the benefit of their own citizens, and then it contaminates it for our citizens. A spokesperson for Seneca Nation President Ricky Armstrong tells Two on Your Side in part that allowing untreated sewage to be discharged into the river on an ongoing basis cannot be an option. This dangerous and unhealthy situation has persisted for too long. I think the hardest thing for people to understand just how much water there is with four and a half inches of rain in a, in a short period of time and how it overwhelms the system. Olean Mayor William Alio says that the city is working on finding a solution, which includes an RFP for an engineering firm to analyze the issue. To look at the, the whole situation and tell us what we need to do better. Do you have an idea now of what it would take to, to fix the whole system? Uh, I don't. That's, that's why we need to, you know, we have a, a study that uh, was it's way over 20 years old. But, uh, you know, in today's day and age, there's, you know, uh, more things, I mean, more things may be available to us. The State Department of Environmental Conservation ruled over 20 years ago that the city of Olean needs to update its sewer system so that untreated water isn't being discharged into the river. Right now, the city spends at least $250,000 a year in, uh, in uh, upgrades to our system. So we've been at that for several years now. And they have a deadline of 2042 to comply with that order. Earlier this month, the Seneca Nation filed a notice of claim against the city of Olean over the discharges. Now, the mayor of Olean says the study should be completed by the fall, and then they can work with state and federal lawmakers to secure any funds needed. On your side, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.